please upgrade my weapon without some smithing stones? No. Please upgrade my weapons without the stones. No. Please. Oh, okay then. Wait, really? No. No. Oh. Hello, my fellow tarnished. How you doing? Welcome to Somber Smithstone Central, where we have so many Somber Smithstones for you to go get and power up your special weapons to an easy plus nine for some serious power. We've already told you how to get infinite Somber one, two, three, and four. So first up today is where do you get infinite Somber Stones five and six from? Well, you need to head to the mountain top of giants. Honestly, 5 and 6 are quite common around the other regions, so I'm sure you have quite a collection, but it doesn't hurt to have, well, quite literally infinite. Once you progress enough here, you'll eventually end up at the first Church of America at the other side of the Frost Lake. You can just basically run here once you have unlocked the north side of the region, and from this church, it's an incredibly long, arduous journey. <laughs> Okay, we're here. It's a corpse just outside, and you guessed it, it's got that somber bell three on, which will give you your infinite five and six. So at a minimum now, every special weapon you ever get can be graded to plus six in a neat jiffy. However, let's talk seven, eight, nine. These are harder to get hold of. The infinite seven and eight bell you're not going to be getting until ultra, ultra end game when you might not even need it. So I'm going to give you a few quick easy locations for a couple of sevens, eights, and nines so you can at least get two or three weapons to that plus nine status. Starting with sevens then, we're heading to the Royal capital. Progress your way through until you reach the Avenue Balcony Grace site. This will be your first port of call on this journey. Follow the route that I am following and you will eventually end up down a well. Well, well. Continue through the sewers, open a gate, run on your way down, and you will once again eventually end up in an even deeper, darker pit of despair with another grey site. From that grey site, we're going across the way, down on the ladder, and onto some deadly brutal pipes. Yeah, I wasn't joking, this area is just awful. Drop down onto the lower pipe, making sure you do hit that pipe or you will die of fall damage. Drop down once again and there is a body right in front of you with our first somber stone seven on him. And I think it definitely is better in our pocket than his. Just right next to it in the pipe on your left is a beetle. And basically we're also going to rob that beetle of its precious cargo, another somber stone seven. That's two for you, but hey, how about an extra one? It's time for the Lake of Rot! <laughs> Yeah, I also hate this area. This is in Noxtella, the Eternal City, and you get here about halfway through the Rani storyline that ultimately leads to, well, an entire possible ending opening up, the Dykeman Greatsword. Basically, I'll link down below the guide taking you through that, but there is loads of somber smithstones in this lake. An easy seven, then, is located from the Grey site just across the way here, guarded by a few basilisks. And then there is yet another one right close to the Grace 2, just a little bit up and left, and it's just on another, well, long dead corpse. So that's four sevens for you to be getting on with. Let's have a look at eights. Staying with the Lake of Rot while we are indeed here, we want to transfer to the Grace at the south side of it, and from said Grace, well, follow another rotten good time path through the lake, hugging the cliff, collecting a six from a beetle on the way, and then dangling over this ruin near the cliff is our first eight. Sticking with eights then is, of course, we need a couple. Once you are again further through the uh, Rani uh, Dark Moon Greatsword storyline, this time towards the end, you will find yourself up on this cliff at the south of Leonia. Once here, we can go to the Moonfolk Ruins and there will be a, a secret illusionary staircase floor that we can head down and grab ourselves a nice somber smithing stone eight. But by far the easiest eight for us to grab actually belongs to Kaelid. You want to head to the Divine Tower and up the hill towards it, you will find a beetle minding its own business peacefully on a tree root. Of course, for that, it must die. And once it does, it gives you a eight for your troubles. Staying in Kaelid and staying right there, if you head down the slope under the tower, you will find yourself a collection of 
dead people who are having apparently one hell of a boring meeting and in there we can get ourselves a nine yes indeed a nine this is a very very nice early somber nine for you to be able to grab but there is one more nine yet for me to convey this time back in the mountaintops of giants for when you are there start at this gray site and we need to do a little bit of a run across the bridge round past the uh, tree Guardian, ultimately ending up on the bridge at the other side, and once more, there is a dead guy with a present for us. They are so generous, these corpses. Bless them. So, that then is quite the collection. A fair amount of sevens, fair amount of eights, a couple nines, along with infinite five and six, you can really power up your weaponry to meet more endgame standards, and I hope it indeed does make your glorious battle ever more glorious. Please Please like, hit the bell, subscribe if this has indeed helped you because plenty more Elden Ring tips, tricks, builds, fun stuff is on the way and please consider supporting the future of this channel on Patreon down below. It's what keeps us going, it's what lets us still exist and it really does mean the world. Thank you. Until we meet again then, a good boy. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.